AppRite, a free and open source backend platform that provides all the tools needed to build modern web and mobile applications without the need to reinvent your own shoddy wheel. The recipe for baking a full stack application requires five ingredients, a server to run trusted code, a relational database for user data, a storage bucket for file uploads, secure authentication for user login, and a strategy for sending notifications. AppRite handles all of these backend concerns so you can focus on the one thing that end users care about, a beautiful and useful front-end application. On the client side, AppRite provides SDKs for virtually every platform, including the big JavaScript frameworks React Native, Flutter, Android, and iOS. That means you can sign a user in with just a few lines of code, and like Firebase, it can listen to real-time changes in the database without the need to roll out your own WebSocket server and state management solution. And all your resources and data can be managed from this robust admin dashboard. To get started, run it locally with Docker, or try it for free in the cloud with AppRite's cloud-hosted service, the sponsor of today's video. From there, create a new project and copy the project ID. And now you can go into any web or mobile application, then install the client SDK and reference the project. Now we can start implementing full stack features like user authentication. It supports a wide variety of authentication methods and OAuth2 providers, which can be further secured with multi-factor authentication. In our front-end project, the business logic for authentication can be accomplished with just a few lines of code. Now that we have users, let's create a database and add a collection to it to manage user data. A collection of documents is similar to a table of rows. A collection can be structured and validated with attributes just like a schema, providing the flexibility and performance of NoSQL while handling complex data modeling situations. In addition, AppRite's permission model gives developers control over the data that end users can read, create, update, and delete. Now, we can run a database query with simple code like this on the front end while enforcing role-based security on the back end. But once data is created, we might want to run some back end code in response. And that's where functions come in. You can run server-side code with a variety of different runtimes, either like a regular HTTP endpoint, or on background triggers like when a user writes to the database, or when a user uploads a file to AppRite storage, and many other events. But now that our backend infrastructure is in place, we can go back to the front-end application and start building complex real-time features with simple code, because virtually every event that happens on the platform, like an update to a database or a file upload, can be listened to in real-time. This has been AppRite in 100 seconds. Huge thanks to the AppRite team for making this video possible. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.